Hey yo, what's poppin' right now everybody? So, I'm starting my vlog off in my room and I'm currently alone at the condo where I live with my roommate. I don't live at my family's house anymore. I moved out. And yeah, basically I live, I'm home right here alone and I don't know where my roommate went. Uh, he says he was going to go meet with this person. I don't know when. I don't know how long he'll be gone, so I'm guessing that I got the whole place to myself for today or not. I don't know. But anyways, here this vlog is about probably gonna be just another day, just another day of what I'm gonna be doing for some of it. I'm gonna go to my parents' house, pick up a package, and then probably go to something. I don't know what. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But anyways, anyway, that's the vlog. That's it for right now until I actually decide to head out. Alright, so right now I just got ready and I'm about to head to my family's house. God damn it. I dropped my soda. Well, thank God it was only in the can, but I gotta put it back now. Yeah, my mini fridge was used to be fridge full, now it's empty. Now, the outfit that I'm wearing is this, the new Maverick hoodie that I just got yesterday. It just arrived yesterday sometime, I don't know. I'm headed to my parents' house to go pick up the rest of my packages. Well, it's probably one box full of hoodies that I ordered. Anyways. But yeah. So basically, I honestly don't even know what's going on today nowadays with this, with my entire group. Because some days we do, some days we hang out, some days we don't. And I don't really know what to say about that. Anymore. It just it's it's just weird for me. So that it's so weird for me now, but. It actually feels good not to be hanging around each other all the time like we used to. That we're getting our own spaces from each other. That's what, that's what makes this whole thing feel better about it. Is that we're getting our spaces. And I don't know what to say. And it's been a while since I've actually done a vlog. I'm not really good at this as much as I, as I am, as I think I am. I, I'm not good at this at all. So I obviously don't know what I'm doing about vlogging. Anyways, I'm about to get in my, I got in my truck now, and I'm about to, well, the music is about to blast, so I'm gonna have to stop recording right here, or actually cut this part out or not, I don't know. <sighs> Anyways here, yeah, my truck's seen better days, but it could use being detailed. Anyways here, I'll talk with y'all whenever I get to my parents'. Okay, so music's turned off. Whatever else. Damn, I really need to clean myself up a little bit. Shave, or whatever else. I look like hell, but not that bad. Anyways, right now I'm currently driving. And yeah, that's my phone right there. And here's this new thing I added to my truck since then. So I got this at the powwow last time when I was there. Uh, an elder told me to get it. He said, it's asked me what it was, what I thought it was for. He actually was surprised that I knew what it was for, and it was for protection. Now, things like this are for protection, but there are things like about them you can't that you can't let happen to them. I don't, I don't know if any of y'all would be interested in learning about any of this, so I'm not gonna even mention it. But if you do like, but if you do want to talk about some of the culture, some of my culture, just just leave a comment down below. And I will read your comments if I, whenever I get to them. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Look, so right now I am currently driving on the high on the road. I'm gonna get onto the highway here in a bit. It's gonna take a minute because usually, either, yeah, like usually because of that right there. But it's not too bad right now because traffic's going, and I'm probably gonna be stuck at the light right now. Yep, I called it. Anyways, I'll talk with y'all here in a bit whenever I get to my parents' house. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, stuck in this. It's gonna be a minute. I'm probably gonna get, still be stuck in this, and then, well, if I could get to that fucking light. Oh, sorry, excuse my language. I forgot YouTube doesn't do the whole 
vulgar language anymore, apparently. So I guess my, I'll, I'm just gonna let you know what my plans are for today. I guess, since my, I think my plans just for today are to just go get a package, hang out at the condo for a little bit, then possibly go to Bucky's, I don't know. I'm figuring stuff out because I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause usually with all my friends, we usually all have an idea of what we're gonna do, but we never actually go through with them. I mean like, we always plan for this stuff, but we never go through with it, any of it. I don't know why. That's just the thing. I don't know why we all plan for this thing and then we all never go through with it. I guess it's just because that we all don't want to do it, do it or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just taking a guess here. It's about that. I honestly can't say because I I don't even know what the hell they want or anything like that. <sighs> Thing. Because I'm a big fan of Logan Paul, he inspired me to be a vlog, to do vlogs. Because he may he may not have every he doesn't have anything going on almost every single day, but he does make an effort to do a vlog, and that's what I need. I need to try. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. He's he's back to vlogging now, and I'm happy about that. But I can't say if he's permanently back or what, because. He did say he wanted to get back to vlogging and whatever else. It's, I, I don't know, no, he didn't exactly, I, I didn't exactly understand what his reason was for it, but I'm just happy that he's back to vlogging because he is my favorite YouTuber of all time, if you couldn't tell. But anyways, I'll talk with y'all here in a bit. Actually, hopefully I can make this light. Nope, probably not gonna make it. Called it. God damn, look at this traffic. Usually around this time, around 343 or something, there's usually traffic on the highway that is like backed up from all the way to, from up near Slaughter and then all the way to north of Austin a bit, I guess. I don't know, I can't remember. It's like all the way up there somewhere. Traffic gets bad during the sweet during the school weeks, like weekdays. I mean, yeah. I honestly don't know what is up with that. Yeah, that van sounded like he, something was, oh god, that thing is like messed up. Headlight broken, something squeaking inside of it. My truck ain't any better, but it's not as bad as that. I think I may have to get like a lot of things replaced and fixed on my truck in order to make it sound really, sound better than it was before. Holy shit! It makes that sound while driving. I thought it did that while it was in brakes. It sounds like a fucking lawnmower. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe that just happened. I, I can't believe I got that recorded. It sounded exactly like Jared, my friend Jared's Jeep. When he, when he didn't have it, when he didn't get it fixed, because it sounded exactly like a lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, oh, look. But, okay, you can't see the traffic yet, but you're gonna be seeing it in a minute. Yeah, look at all that traffic right there. Oh, wait, it's not that bad, actually. I kind of thought it'd be bad. Nope, spoke too soon. Never mind. All the way over there. God. You know, that's the thing I hate about Austin sometimes. I hate this traffic here. It gets bad at a certain point in time.
family is going to be surprised that I'm carrying around my camera now again. I haven't carried this thing in a like months. A few couple months I think or a few. I don't know. It's been a while for me actually. Yeah. Look at all the look at this traffic. It's not that bad, but I'm pretty sure it's far worse going back there or going back there. Moving over is going to be a bitch. Oh, I don't know. I thought it'd be usually it's usually a pain to get over. But uh, I'll talk to you out here when I get okay, so I'm not exactly where I am to my parents' house yet, but I am in Kyle and Still the same as it ever was, but I'm gonna be moving back here soon, and hopefully by the by by the end of this month, I'm gonna have that one place. I've already put down a security deposit for the place. Well, me and George have. I put down like a thousand. He put like five hundred down because we wanted to do that place. He wants to. He wants to get out of that apartment he's in, and I basically want to. I just want to, I just don't like the city life for me. It's not, it's not for me. I mean, even though there's like stuff there that goes on almost every single time I could record and whatever else for that, for my vlogs, but it's just, not, it's just city life isn't exactly for me. I mean, I'll go there. I'll even record sometimes whenever I'm headed to there to go do a vlog. And then whenever I'm going out somewhere else, that's a, then I'll record too of that as well. But I just can't. I just can't live there. Is the only issue is that I'm not. I'm not too used to it. Cause I grew up in a play in like it's in a small town or a small co or community or whatever. I don't know what it. I don't know what it. But you, I guess you call it a small town. Not very many stores there, but it's how I grew up, and I'm just too used to that. I'm just like way too used to it, and I'm not used to see like so. Maybe one day but not right not right now uh, i don't know uh, we'll see how things go in the near future i just want i just i just can't i just can't live in the city right now right, for all of that but i'm almost to where i need to get to go and then i'm going to go ahead to probably back to the condo after i get what i need i'll just keep the camera going because i literally have nothing to go on for this vlog. Damn, I am waiting to get across. Okay, so I just got across, but I think I'm gonna be followed by a cop. Nope, he drove off, surprisingly. Oh, okay, I shouldn't be too surprised mainly because I never get, I hardly ever get in trouble with the police. I've only gotten in trouble with them like maybe only two times out of my entire life of, out of my entire life and especially of my whole, after this whole time I've been driving. All, the, all this time that I drove, it's only two times I've gotten in trouble with the cops. A few, a few other, there were a few other times I got there was a cop and said that had to involve the police, but it what it didn't involve me because I got rear-ended a few times in vehicles, like separate vehicles, like two a few two separate vehicles, three separate vehicles actually. Actually, one time was in my truck, this very truck, after I got my bed sprayed in and deep and everything, and then the other time was the explorer on my way to Florida with my brother because he had to go he was there he was going there to sell knives and whatever else for a week and then there was the time I oh yeah it was in my mom's green truck that she has I got re I it was raining it was I got a, I had worked at Wilson's leather I was working there that I was working at the time and I before after I got off my job I left and then on the highway I stopped some other guy didn't stop 
or couldn't stop fast enough and then rear-ended me which forced me to rear-end someone else I had I had to help I held on to my I pressed my brakes out hard but I guess since it was raining that made it made things a lot easier for it to slide still to just hit someone else's car and then the other time was in the Explorer again was that I was going to go pick up my brother. I did not want to drive the Explorer. I told my parents, I told them specifically that I did not want to drive that thing and put me and my brother in danger because of that, how that thing was. But they never listened to me. And so they just still decided, just go pick him up, do it now or whatever. I, I did not want to drive that damn thing. And they just made, and they and they still didn't listen to me until afterwards. I've or until after the whole accident happened, I had to call them to come get it, to come get me, and then go get my, they go get my brother, and then come get me. Because of what happened to that damn explorer, that my auntie, it was it used to be my auntie's, and now it. It was ours. I think it's back to her. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that thing. That thing sucked. The brakes did not work at all. They kept going out every single time, and I did not want to drive that thing. I hated the Explorer. It sucked so hard to have to drive that thing and then have to have its brakes go out. That's what I hated most about it, is that the brakes on it went out and did not work at all. And then I tell my parents that. They don't listen to me all ever. The only time they'll listen to me is when there's actually something they actually want to listen to. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I, that that's one of the other reasons why I moved out of my family's house, is that because... Nobody there listens to me. Nobody still listens to me, actually. So, I basically just do what I can. Do what I need to. To just keep myself from getting... To keep... Because they get... Everyone else... All this, all the ideas, most of their ideas... Hardly ever work. And yet they still do it. And then afterwards, they chat. And then usually whenever I give them the idea... They say it's theirs. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I just arrived at my parents' house. But it's not this house, it's this the house next to it. Like all the vehicles in it. I'm gonna check the mailbox, see if it's got anything in there. I doubt like 10 hoodies here. Surprisingly, it's like nice and cool out. It's a bit of a shock right now. I mean, it's usually hardly, it, it, the weather changes. I thought it was getting warm, to be honest. I guess it's just another, I just, I, I think it's just another thing of just being cold for right now until, like, it actually ha, until it actually decides to be, stay warm and whatever else. Alright. Trying to see one of my packages. I know it's not, I know it's not one of these two right here because they're, they're like, Way too small. Yeah, parents' house. Garage. Actually, that's the garage. That's the shed that we have, or whatever. Although we don't use that thing because our land, the landlord, Mr. John, decided to give it to those people over there. I don't know why. But, huh. There's a box right there. That might be it. Hopefully, that's it. Let's see. 
Yep, says my name on it. Drop the drop off mom's packages inside. Take mine. I'm good to go. Damn it. Take mom's pack. Just take my mom's packages inside. And then, hmm. Hey, Queenie. You spell. Damn, you are skinny. Are they feeding you? Uh. But yeah. Let's see who's here. So I saw my brother's truck. It's parked over there. Out front. It's the silver one. Maybe he's here. Uh. Let's see what he's up to. Think I could get some off of him. There isn't sunshine here. What are you doing? I just came to see if Christopher was here, but apparently he's not. Yeah, he's not here. I don't know where he is. Well, how do you not know he's not here? How do you not? How do you not know where he is? You don't tell me where he goes. This truck is here, actually. It's like sitting out front. Come see. This truck's here. I, well, I don't know where he is, though. Well, he doesn't got his phone. He doesn't have a phone anymore. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Probably went with them somewhere, I don't know. I don't know. I just came for this thing, that's my package. Alright. I'll see you later. See ya. This is a big package. I knew that there'd be a lot of hoodies, but I didn't think that'd be the... I didn't think that it'd be this, many, this big of a package. Just imagine how just imagine how big the package would have been if I ordered more mystery hoodies than just ten. Yeah, I said it. I ordered ten. I don't really care if anyone's if anyone's surprised about that. Anyone who knows actually Logan Paul's a merchant knows how much the mystery hoodies are and how much they cost altogether for ten. And you'd obviously see that I'm a big ass fan. Well, I got the package, so I guess I'll talk to you whenever I get back to the condo. Okay, so I just ordered my, I just opened my package, and I've got like 10 of these freaking hoodies, and some of them are the same, a bunch of them are, three of them are the same, and there's like two only, only ones that aren't. And one of them I've never had, actually two of them I've never had, one I've already had. Actually, two of them I've already had. So, anyways, I've got two of things, two of two of which I've already have, and then two of which I don't have. I kind of expected there to be different kinds of multiple hoodies. I just did not expect it to all be the same. Maybe next time when I order mystery stuff, I'm gonna order more than just ten. Because honestly, I love collecting the Everett merch. Some of it I may just sell. I don't know. I'm still debating. Anyways, talk with you out here. I'm. I literally did not expect with. I did not expect any of that to show up. Like some of it where you could never get ever again. Some of his merch. That's what he said. You will never see it again. Maybe. I don't know. But apparently, these Lambros are limited edition ones, and I did not expect to get one. Neither did I expect the Rise of the Paul hoodie. I did not know he actually sold merch like that. I mean, he must have, but I didn't exactly see it on the website back then. Because the website was a lot different than it is now. And I've got like ten, I've got like five or six of these, um, probably just four of these, uh, Team, Team Maverick hoodies. And 
they are literally just a bomb for me. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with like 10 of these. I think I may just give one away to my friend George or not, I don't know. And I may see what I may I may see what he wants, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call him right now and see what he says. to see if you wanted a wanted a Logan Paul hoodie because I've got like my package came in of the hoodies I ordered and there, there are like a bunch of the same ones um no I'm good all right then I thought I thought I'd see I thought I'd offer because I've got literally a whole bunch that are exactly some of the, I got a bunch of them that are the same I thought you might want more or not no. Alright then. Alright then. Good. That was all. Later. Alright. Later. I'm gonna see what Jimmy says. I'm gonna see what she says. Hello? Hey, Amy, what's up? Nothing. What you doing? Uh, I just picked up my package from my parents' house, and the all, all the hoodies that I got are some of them are pretty much some a same. I was wondering if you wanted to take one of them. Wait, what? I've got like a bunch of hoodies. Some of them are like the same when I ordered them because they were like a mystery pa mystery ones. Ah. Uh. And I was wondering if you wanted to take one. Sure. All right then. I offered All to right. I offered to George, but he didn't want one. Okay. Yeah. Because they're like a bunch of Maverick stuff, so I figured I'd offer you one. That's fine. Uh, Maverick's good. All right then. I'll swing by whenever I can to drop off one, because there's like a whole bunch of them. I've got a whole bunch of them. Okay. Yeah. That was it. Bye. Alrighty. Alright then. Later. Okay, bye. Damn, I did I lit this is seriously, I got okay, one taker on one hoodie. Now I just need to see who else I know Jack's not gonna want one. I don't think Jared's gonna want one. I mean I don't know. He laughs at Logan Paul's videos, but I don't know if he'll want one officially. But that's just my opinion. I honestly can't say if you would want one or not. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back, either later tonight or tomorrow, because I honestly don't know when he'll be back. And I just, I just may go to Bucky's later. All these hoodies I've got. I literally wanted the Lambros hoodie, but I couldn't get it. And now that I've got it, I may just. I think I may need to order a bunch of shirts. <laughs> because I don't know if Milan, oh, okay, Milan doesn't watch, he doesn't watch YouTube. He told me that himself. And I don't, Rayanne's not, Rayanne just started watching them. And then, well, maybe Will and Milan, but he doesn't really care for YouTubers or YouTube videos like that. I don't know, I can't say honestly. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying my opinion on it. Cause I honestly can't say. It's just what I think. That's what I think. I'll ask Willem whenever he, uh, yeah, whenever he comes back. Or I could ask him now. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably at work. I can't ask Jack. He doesn't, he's not a fan of Logan Paul. And I don't know about Aiden. So I guess, I guess she's out. I don't know. And then, 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 um, who else is there, who else is there? I, I, I can't say who. I don't know. Amy's the only taker. Tessa, I don't, she's not a fan of Logan Paul. She doesn't care either. Neither is Emily, and neither is any of my other friends in Texas, because I've literally seen, I've only seen one other Logan Paul fan, and that was in Florida, one time. 
she was wearing the low gang haulers tank top or not tank top but camo shirt oh speaking of camo I need, I need to get me a juke squad camel shirt a camouflage shirt it's not camo it's camel camouflage literally with camels on it it's funny I need to get that I don't know if they still sell it I'm a fan of juke squad too they are pretty awesome but it, it's sad about what happens with one of their one of their one of their friends. Honestly, I did not expect that. I feel like since I'm back, rest in peace, my dude. Rest in peace, my fellow Floridian. <sighs> yeah, but I honestly can't. I honestly don't know what to say. And look, I'm stuck behind some of these vehicles. So it's not hardly. I can get. A, I can get around, but it's just by deciding on when. These vehicles are good to go. Literally, a whole bunch of hoodies right there. Two of them I'm gonna keep. Okay, so I'm just now getting back to the condo, but I'm not inside, I'm currently still outside of it. Anyways, here, I gotta unload my truck of these packages that I got, literally 10 of them. It shouldn't take too long, maybe like a few minutes at best. But these hoodies, literally, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them. I've hit up a few of my friends. Some of them, they, some can't fit them, some can. Some, I, oh shit, I forgot to ask Noah if he wanted one. Yeah, I don't know. He may want one. I don't. Know. He may want. He may take it, but I don't think. I'm not holding my breath to it too much because I honestly don't know what Noah really likes. It. Wrong box. There we go. Bigger one. Camera. Okay. These pack. These ladies are gonna be literally be deep. Shit. Literally, I got like a whole bunch of them. Oh, shit, never mind. Never mind, not all of them are not all of them are team Maverick. I guess I missed one that was a regular Maverick hoodie. scary or usually sometimes I'm carrying a camera but who gives a fuck if they who cares a fuck if people stare so I don't give them one damn fuck nice and chilly out there. Hey, it felt good. Anyways, take these upstairs.
Oops. Yeah. Anyway. Alright. It's time to have the vlog right here right now. Be back in a minute. Alright, so I really got nothing to do other than just go back to the condo, hang out there, and watch TV for a little bit, but I think I might might do something with the rest of my vlog and go to hang out. I just go to Bucky's, because why the fuck not? I haven't been there in like a while. It's been about almost two weeks now. And guys wanted to go one time. We we planned on it, but we never did. So I might as well just go since I'm the only one here. I got nothing else to do. I don't know what Jack and Aiden's gonna do. They're probably just hanging out at the uh, at their at Jack's place. I don't know. But I'm, I might just take a trip to the Buc Bucky's and then get some stuff there. That's about it. I don't know. Uh, I'll figure something out. But yeah, anyways. See you in a bit. Okay, so apparently I am going to Bucky's. <laughs> Felt like I was up to it then. Might as well. I don't really care. Anyways, I'm on the highway right now going to it, and there's like a fucking car. Oh, never mind. They're turning to get off on the other way. Oh, so I guess I won't have a tailgater. <laughs> this will be fun going to. Bucky's. I haven't been there in a while. I have not been there uh, since the last, since about like, it's been a couple weeks I guess. I was supposed to go with my friends, but we didn't exactly, we didn't exactly go there. We didn't exactly go anywhere. We just stayed at the condo and did nothing. That's it. I don't know what to say about anything to be honest. But I'm going to Bastrop, I might as well. I wanted to go to Bastrop for a while to get like, um, well, I just want to get some snacks, possibly an icy and I see it all up there. Because it gets me out of the condo and I'm not, I'm not gonna pass out anytime soon, but I might as well just get some stuff from Buggies. Go next time, get, I don't know. This highway, I haven't been on this highway. Gonna be a nice, enjoyable ride. Seeing as how I'm by myself. Yep. No one with me. No one's with me. Yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you out here in a bit after I get there. All right. So I'm in Bastrop, and look at the city. Look at the town. It looks nice. It looks good. It's like really peaceful out here. It looks peaceful out here. More peaceful than uh, living in uh, Austin. At least that, here you don't hear sirens as much. At least sometimes I think. But around and there, in Austin, you have to hear sirens all the time. Either police sirens, fire trucks, or ambulances, or anything else. But no, other than that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Buggy should be around. Coming, it's coming up next. Should be here. Okay, there's been a lot of stuff I could have vlogged about, but I didn't, and I don't know. I, it's just because I've been too lazy, and I need to get. I need to stop that. I need to stop trying to be too lazy and actually do vlogs more, because those camp. Otherwise, 
the cameras I got, they're all pretty much just a waste of money if I don't fight with that. Well, I arrived at Monkey's. I can get this damn straw. Okay. There's a lot of chips here, and some of these I've never seen. These are about the biggest bags. Not many things, like I guess. Not many things here. I got. Although, this is gonna be a pretty interesting vlog. Probably tomorrow, if I'm up for it or not. Well, actually, George is supposed to come over, and we're probably gonna go to Ray, our friend Ray Ann's rest, family restaurant, apparently, and get some and get food there. So check it out. So you'll probably see that in the next block. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna get, get what I need here, and then I'll talk to y'all. I'll talk with y'all in a minute. All right, so I got what I needed, or what I wanted, actually, instead of needed. And now I'm about to head back to the condo. Probably rest there until Jared comes home, either tomorrow or whenever he comes back. I don't know where the fuck he went. Now. The only per the person who might check out this vlog is probably Rayanne, but I don't really know whether or not this vlog is going to be good. So I'm going to have to make a lot of edits in this vid footage. Because there's some things I have to cut out and there's some things I can keep in, but there's not very many things I can leave in. But yeah, I'll talk with y'all here after I get back to the condo. Alright, so there's not very much happening on the highway, but I'm almost back to the condo. That way I can literally do, well, I can literally just hang out there and do whatever I need to do to get home. Yeah, it's going to be quite a fun ride.
it's hard to remember sometimes. This vlog may not be interesting, but hey, at least it's a vlog that's gonna be coming out. That I just gotta finish. That I just gotta edit as soon as I get back. Yeah, there's not much that happened during happened during this night, but maybe I'll have something. Okay, so I'm just now getting back to the condo, and it's a little chilly out, but it feels good because I was in that truck and it was it was hot. I didn't think to roll down the windows the entire time. I was hoping the heat would melt this thing a little bit. It didn't. Not very much. I gotta unlock this, get inside. Upstairs, I'm going down for a little bit then in this block. Hmm. All right, so that that is the vlog. Uh, like, subscribe. Comment down below, favorite, whatever else. And I'll see you next time.